everybody, welcome back to my channel, Sew Yourself a Capsule Wardrobe. I'm Deb and in today's video I'm looking at the garments I made with a fabric that was sent to me from Tia Knight Fabrics in the I Made It Myself collaboration. So if that interests you, stay watching. You may remember that in the I Made It Myself collaboration with Tia Knight Fabrics, I was sent four pieces of fabric from the uh, fabric company Tia Knight, which are based in Leicester in the United Kingdom. And I was able to make up um, garments from those, piece, those pieces of fabric. I was able to choose the patterns I wanted to make up and choose the garments I wanted to make um, and then show them on social media. So today I'm looking at what I've made and which patterns I actually used. Uh, full disclaimer, I didn't use the patterns that I first said I was going to use. I chose something completely different. So let's see what I made up. The first piece of fabric that I chose uh, was a three metre length of, um, it was a premium brushed poly jersey, I think. Something like that. It's called Hein Army Blossoms. I was going to make the willow wrap dress by Love Notions and I scrapped that idea completely. Um, I've already got a dress, it's Snare Tunic by Wardrobe by me and I've already got it in leopard print, grey leopard print and I decided to make the same dress again but with a, a three quarter length sleeve. It's got, it's a fit and flare dress, it reaches just above the knee and I've been wearing it with leggings and boots this winter, well this over the festive season and I really feel nice in it. It's lovely and comfortable, it's just got a nice round neckline that's um, got a binding on it, set in sleeves and it just feels so comfortable and it was so easy to make. So that is garment number one. For my second garment I made up, a, I had some, I made one, I made a skirt it's it was made in the um, scuba um, watercolour print on grey. It's a, a premium scuba, I believe. I made the Pattern Emporium Friday Feel skirt. It's really again, it's a really simple pattern. It's a pencil skirt. It doesn't have a waistband at all. It, what it has, so if I can take that off to show you is elastic that and there and it's stitched or surged onto the top of the waistband of the skirt and then flipped over so that it sits it's nice and concealed it's a really really easy to make and really comfortable skirt and again that's going to be worn in the springtime it's more of a springtime colour I'm going to wear that in the spring I can see me getting a lot of wear out of that I wanted a top to go with the skirt, so I made this top from the um, Velvet Burnout Stripe. It looks quite shimmery, doesn't it? It was quite a nice top to wear again over the festive season. Um, this pattern is the Pattern Emporium Allure top. But it's just hasn't got the uh, flounce sleeves it's got the normal boat it was a bonus sleeve pattern it's just a straight sleeve and I used the the low scoop on this I cut the fabric um, crossways for the neck band so that stripes run across the fabric I decided on the stripes running across the fabric rather than up and down and then used uh, up and down stripes on the neck just to give it a little bit of contrast so yeah that's that one I mean if you can see that's my skirt and it looks really nice with that the colours tone really really nicely there's there's cerise in the floral pattern of the skirt which matches the cerise of the top really nicely um, with this top I opted to cut the size 16 which was uh, my pattern my bo my body measurements I used to I also cut a size 16 for the skirt now the skirt fits my bottom half really nicely 
I feel that the top is slightly bigger than I would have liked. So I've reprinted the pattern uh, in a size 12 and I've measured it, the pattern pieces themselves. And I think that a size 12 is probably more the size that I like. I like my tops quite nicely fitted. And this cerise one is just a tiny bit too big for me, I feel. I mean, it's it's a, you know, perfectly wearable. I've worn it a lot over um, the December and January um, months. But I do feel it's just a titchy bit too big for me. But again, it's my personal preference. And now we come to the final fabric that I was sent. I... Um, ordered or chose a piece of coral piled fleece in a uh, lovely again cerise colour that was called that's called berry um, and I really really love the fabric it's so soft and, and sumptuous I would have liked to have made an octave coat in that but I actually felt the fabric was too thick to make that out of because I would have had to have layered three pieces on top of each other in some parts of the pattern and I didn't think that was going to press very well or go under the machine very well, under the machine foot as I'm sewing very well. I still wanted to make some outerwear so I did consider making a jacket. I think I, I thought about making the Lauren jacket from Stylark and the Jill jacket from Seamwork. But again, there was going to be three layers that I had, to, three layers of fabric that I had to stitch at, at some stages, and I really didn't think that my machine was going to be able to cope with it. So, still on the outerwear theme, I decided I'd go for something that I've never ever made for myself, and it's really out of my comfort zone as far as my style is concerned. I made myself a poncho. So here you go. I've not worn it yet, it's a bit too cold to wear it at the moment. But as you can see, it's, I'm going to hold it up. Well, you can't do that, it's just fabric, isn't it? It's a poncho. Um, I'll put some photos of me wearing it somewhere in the video. Uh, it's the, again, it's a pattern emporium. It's called the With Love Poncho. And I've made mine with a crew neck. And you can probably tell and, and, and notice that I've used the fabric that I use for the uh, the cerise burnout velvet top, so it's that I had a, a remnant of it left, and I used that for the neck band because I didn't think the fleece had enough stretch, to be honest. I made the long a long length version and long sleeve version, so I used as much of the fabric as I possibly could for the maximum amount of uh, poncho, basically, and I got some left over, some fabric left over. So I also made the infinity scarf that comes with the pattern, which was an absolute doddle to make. I mean, I made the poncho and the infinity scarf in an afternoon, I think. Um, and that includes the cutting out and the stitching together. One thing I did make, um, did do, I made a mistake on the hem of the poncho. Fortunately, you can't actually see the mistake at all. Um, the seam here on the mitre is on the outside and I should have flicked it the other way and used the opposite side for the right side. And I only realised when I st stitched it all down that I hadn't done that. But it's not a problem. I mean, you can't really see it, you can't tell and I wasn't going to unpick it because I think the fleece would have been an absolute nightmare to un unpick. So yeah, I got uh, an infinity scarf out of that as well which I really love it's a, it's a fantastic film piece so all in all I got five garments out of my four pieces of fabric if you count the infinity scarf and I've still got a piece a remnant piece of the Hanami or Hayanami this fabric oops just reach over of this fabric left over so I think I've either got enough for a short sleeve top um, or a little tank top. So that's going to be a bonus garment for me to make. Uh, the fabric's absolutely gorgeous and I'm not going to waste it. And I think it really will be a nice little top to go with a black skirt. 
Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with all my my, uh, my garments that I made. You can see them all, me wearing them all, in my Instagram reels. And I'll give you that. I've got the hair stuck. Um, I'll give you the link down in the description box if you want to see me wearing those. Um, so yeah, the collaboration with Tia and I was really great fun. I had great fun making the items. Um, I spent about a week, I closed my shop before Christmas because I got my orders out and I was ready for a bit of me time and I made the garments in roughly about a week. So yeah, I had a good time doing that. Would I recommend Tia Knight for fabric? Absolutely 100%. I've got a lot of the fabrics to make up this year, which brings me to my next part of my video. So yeah, 2022, I um, set myself a challenge. It was called hashtag make 22 and 22. And it's a challenge for me to make 22 garments myself um, throughout the the year 2022 and I achieved that so I'm really I was really pleased with myself I kept a log of them how much they cost and everything and I put some really good pieces into my wardrobe this year I'm swapping up a little bit and I am challenging myself to make more basics for my wardrobe I've realized I have so few basic garments in fact, I have so few garments in my wardrobe uh, that I want to make myself some basic pieces consisting of tops, jeans, trousers, skirts and knitted items. Um, I don't have um, a number that I'm aiming for this year. I'm not going to aim for 23 and 23. I just want to make myself some really good basics uh, that I can um, base my wardrobe on and base my fun pieces on. So, yeah. I've got that to look forward to. Haven't made anything yet, but maybe you'd like to join me in the um, hashtag Make the Basics challenge. Let me know if you do. Uh, I'd, be, I'd love you to, uh, you know, come along and, and join me in the challenge. Okay, that's it for me today. It's short and sweet. I've got to go off and do my tax return. Whoopee! Um, yes, yeah, so I shouldn't hang around too much on camera. Um, yeah. So join me in the Make the Basics challenge. Um, I'll pop the descriptions and the links to the patterns that I made down in the description box below. And I'll also pop in some photographs here and there in the, the video so you can have a look. Don't forget to follow me on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're feeling generous, I'd love you to buy me a cup of tea on my Ko-fi account. Until next time, happy sewing. Bye bye.